อันไลมหากาสปะอันบันดากาปลานีอนาจิตเตวีดัสนกัตเตลเฮอสตอรีเป็นมหากาพินาเอนทิปตากา Greetings I'm Dr. Malai u i I have been working to help revive Khmer Cambodian p i k o n i s a n g k a for some time now For the Terigata festival I will use 4.1 Pada Kapalani Terigata to introduce my presentation and then transition to a n a j i t Devi She is an outstanding p i k o n i in Atakata and in my Khmer list of 50 foremost and outstanding p i k o n i s And maybe the link of Khmer p i k u n i s to the time of the Buddha. However, unlike Maha k a s a p a and Bada k a p a l a n i a n a j i t Devi doesn't get to tell her story with Maha Kapina in Tipitaka, like the Khmer p i k u n i s a n g k a is being denied in certain sect of Khmer Buddhism. 4.1 Bada k a p a l a n i Terigata. By Ayakema, son of the Buddha, and his heir is he, great g a s a p a His mind serene, collected, vision of previous lives is his. Heaven and hell he penetrates, the ceasing of rebirth he has obtained, and supernatural knowledge he has mastered. With these three knowledges possessed by him. He is a Brahman, true, of threefold knowledge. So has she too, Pada de Gapalani, gained for herself the threefold knowledge, and has vanquished death, having bravely vanquished Mara and his host. It is the last formation of a body that she bears. Seeing the world's deep misery, we both went forth, and are now both free of cankers. With well-tamed minds, cool of passion, we have found deliverance. Cool of passions, we have found our freedom. Like Mahakasapa and Bada Kapalani, p u a t a k t a m Book Six, the Wise Man, Pandita Vega, a n a j i t Devi, and Mahakapina, perform good merits together in previous lives. When they were born as weavers, a n a j i t Devi took upon herself to organize her villages together of a thousand, to attend one thousand private Buddhas for three months during the rainy season. When they were born as householders of b e n a r e s in the dispensation of the Buddha k a s a p a along with their villagers, Maha Kapina organized the householder to contribute money, and build a monastery. And to offer a set of robes to 20,000 monks. However, a n a j i t Devi was determined with her wisdom to do more to honor the Buddha by offering a garment of the color of the a n a j i t flowers that was worth 1,000 pieces of money and a casket of a n a j i t flowers. In their last life, they were born in royal households. Maha Kapina was named King Kapina the Great of the city Gugu. Tavati, and a n a j i t Devi became his queen as Queen a n a j i t from the kingdom of Mada. a n a j i t Devi had a strong faith and intelligence for the sake of three jewels, as Maha Kapina did, if not stronger. p u r a t a k a t a Book Six, the Wise Man, p a n d i d a Vega. Like Maha Kapina, a n a j i t Devi learned of the three jewels and gave three hundred pieces. Of money, in addition to 100,000 pieces of money that Maha Kapina gave to the merchant for each news of the three jewels, the Buddha had arisen, the Dharma had arisen, the Sangha had arisen. Like Maha Kapina, a n a j i t Devi renounced her real glory with the wives of the ministers for the sake of the teacher to become a nun. She said, "The glory that spells suffering to the king also spells suffering to her." And said, "Who would get down on one's knees and take into one's mouth a mass of saliva ejected by the king? I have no need of real glory." Like Maha Kapina, a n a j i t Devi crossed three rivers with an act of truth. Seeing no sign of horse footprints of Maha Kapina and his ministers, she said, 
the king must have pronounced an act of truth, saying, "For the sake of the three jewels, I have renounced the world and so crossed." I also have renounced the world for the sake of the three jewels. By the supernatural power, may this water be to me unlike water. Meditating on the power of the three jewels, she ordered her one thousand chariot to go forth. The water was like a flat rock; not even the outer rims of the wheels got wet. Like Maha Kapina. Anajit Devi saw the ray of light of six colors from the body of the Buddha. The teacher preached Dharma in orally sequence. Anajit Devi and the wives of the ministers were established the fruit of stream entry. They then requested to be admitted to the order. Although Atthakatha Book Six, the wise men, Bandita Vega. Describe all of them enjoying glory like the glory of the king, since they had performed works of merit as one company. They also enjoy equal glory as one company. The women didn't receive the same glory when it came to their ordination. While Maha Kapina and his ministers ordain as monks magically with bowls and robes, because the Buddha was aware of them giving one thousand robes. To one thousand private Buddhas when they were born as weavers, giving twenty thousand robes to twenty thousand monks in the dispensation of the Buddha Gassapa when they were born as householders. For the ordination of Anajit Devi and the wives of the ministers who perform works of merit with Mahakapina and his ministers with equally strong faith and intelligence, if not stronger. Instead of the Buddha talking, some of the monks said the teacher thought of the coming of a Balavana. But the teacher said to those female lay disciple, "Go to Savatthi and enter the religious life in the convent of nuns." The Buddha's voice was lost on the ordination of Anajit Devi and the wife of the ministers, because Maha Kapina. And his ministers were ordained as monks magically by the Buddha, saying, "Come, monks, take up the religious life that you may early extinguish suffering." They were provided with the eight monastic requisites immediately. They appear like elders a century old. They first flew into the air and returned to earth. As for Anajit Devi and the wife of the ministers. They started out on foot and journey from place to place. People offered them hospitality and bestow honor upon them. After a journey of one thousand twenty leagues, Anajit Devi and the wives of the ministers reached the convent of nuns, were admitted to the order, and attained arhanship. While the Buddha took the one thousand monks with him and flew through the air to. Jetavana. Unlike Mahakasapa and Pada Kapalani, Anajit Devi didn't get to tell her story with Mahakapina in the Tipitaka. Anajit Devi's name is not found in a verse with her own voice in Tipitaka. Only Chief Queen is mentioned in the Mahakapina Tara Apadana. Her story is not told. In Tipitaka, other than a brief description of Mahakapina, Chief Queen in the Mahakapina Terra Apadana. Even in Atakata, Anajit Devi's name appears in Mahakapina stories only. Therefore, the voices of Queen Anajit Devi and her royal ladies of one thousands have been denied from Tipitaka. In addition, Queen Anajit Devi and her royal ladies of one thousand may be the link of the Kamae Pikuni Sangha to the time of the Buddha. Queen Anajit Devi was the wife of King Kapina of the city Gugu Davati, which is generally accepted by among the scholar community as part of ancient Kampucha. 
like Queen Anaja Devi and her royal ladies of 1000, the Khmer Pigani Sangha is being denied in a certain sect of Khmer Buddhism. In Khmer Dictionary, Sikamana is defined in Khmer language, which I translated as a seminary who is 18 years of age, has received an approval to train in the eight Garudamas, in Khmer we say Guru Yang, for two years to become a Bhikkhuni. Whereas in the Bhikkhuni Vibhanga of Khmer Tipitaka in Volume 5, pages 318 to 320, 369, and 372, Sikamana is defined as a trainee nun who must train for two years in the six rules. In Khmer we say Yang before taking the high ordination. The six rules are the first six precepts. 1. Abstaining from killing living beings for two years without transgression. 2. Abstaining from stealing for two years without transgression. 3. Abstaining from sexual activity for two years without transgression. 4. Abstaining from lying for two years without transgression. 5. Abstaining from alcohol, which causes heedlessness for two years without transgression. And 6. Abstaining from eating at the wrong time for two years without transgression. So Khmer Khmer dictionaries use the eight Guru Dhammas or Guru Yang, whereas the Khmer Vinaya Tipitaka, which is the authoritative source uses the six rules or Topramoyang as the rule that a Sikamana must train in for two years before taking the higher ordination. In Khmer dictionaries, the word seminary is defined and translated as see in the word seminara if a woman is a seminary, but now it does not exist. The phrase added in parenthesis is the opinion of the editor and is different from the historical documents of the Bikuni lineage, which continues through modern time. Also, in Khmer Dictionary, the word Pikuni is defined and translated as a female monk is a woman ordained as a Piku, existed only in the time of the Buddha and in Buddhism of the past, today does not exist. The phrase added in parentheses is the opinion of the editor and is different from the historical documents of the Bikuni lineage, which continues through modern time. In Khmer Tipitaka, Volume 28, page 225, where the Buddhist teaching on the foremost dana is to the dual sangha of Pikus and Pikunis headed by the Buddha. The footnote in this section added an opinion in parenthesis that I translated as, there are no Pikunis in modern time, only Pikus, therefore, only Piku Sangha headed by the Buddha. The sentence added in parenthesis is the opinion of the editor and is different from the historical documents of the Pikuni lineage, which continues through modern time. These obstacles for women in certain sect of Khmer Buddhism have great consequences not only for women but also for Buddhism and society. Adding and or modifying with opinions in parentheses or not in authoritative documents such as dictionaries and tipitaka makes those opinions appearing as authoritative sources for those who don't generally read those documents with a critical lens. They continue telling those opinions to the audience and use those opinions to deny an opportunity for girls from learning Buddhism fully. For example, the incorrect definition of Sikamana in the Khmer Khmer dictionaries has been used, shared, and taught, which spread the incorrect definition further and increases the number of people with this misunderstanding. Dharma talk is another example of those consequences. Dharma talks given by some Khmer Pikus and Dharma teachers are mirror to those opinions and are denying the existence of Pikunis in modern time and invalidating the ordination of modern Pikunis, 
which deny an opportunity for girls and women to become pikunis. The incorrect definition of sikamana and the opinion added in parenthesis of no seminary and no pikunis in modern time in the original Khmer dictionary are found in the fourth edition printed in 1967 and have been transferred to other Khmer dictionaries and continue to this day for more than 50 years. If this error doesn't get corrected and those opinions don't get removed, the number of people with this misunderstanding will increase to the entire Khmer population and into the future generation. Likewise, the opinion added in the footnote of Khmer Tipitaka, Volume 28, page 225, as there are no bhikkhunis in modern time, only bhikkhus, therefore, only Piku Sangha headed by the Buddha is found in the second edition printed in 1963 and continue to this day for almost 60 years. If this opinion doesn't get removed, the number of people with this misunderstanding will increase to the entire Khmer population and into the future generation. Furthermore, the incorrect definition of Sekamana the opinions of no seminary and no pikunis in modern time in the Khmer Khmer dictionaries and in Khmer Tipitaka and Dhamma talks reinforcing the error and those opinions have caused some individuals to look down at women in Buddhism. Below are a few examples of the responses that I received from some individual from the Khmer community when I shared modern pikunis activity in late 2020 to early 2021. Individual A, with more bhikkhunis and young seminaries, soon temple will be full of pregnancies. The Buddha sasna will be messy. Wait and see if you don't believe me. Individual B, if women practice the Buddha's teaching properly, how come they cause the bhikkhuni lineage to be broken thousands of years already? Individual C. Soon, temples will be full of pregnancy. Do not worry. Buddhism is on the verge of extinction. Individual D. That is not seminary. That is white robe nun. In other words, Mary takes monk's robes to wear. Both the Khmer Tipitaka and the original Khmer Dictionary were published by the Buddhist Institute of Cambodia. I have written and made a video for each of the obstacles and their consequences of the error of the definition of Sikamana and the opinions of no seminary and no pikunis and share them publicly. I also started to add those videos on the Facebook of the Buddhist Institute of Cambodia on April 3rd, 2021. However, I haven't received a response from the institution yet. Despite these obstacles for women in a certain sect of Khmer Buddhism, like Anajit Devi, Khmer women have strong faith and intelligence, and a few of them have pushed themselves through these barriers to ordain as Theravada seminaries and as Theravada Pikuni. We now have one Khmer Pikuni and at least five Khmer seminaries in this world. The first Khmer Pikuni. Venerable Medajivi was ordained as a seminary by her teacher, a Khmer Pico, and ordained as a Pikuni by her Sri Lankan preceptor in Sri Lanka on February 18, 2018. She heard about the 13 ancient Arhante Pikunis from her Khmer Pico teachers that got her inspired to enter a monastic life. 6.6 Mahapajabati Gautami Theragata impacted the first Khmer Pikuni, Venerable Medajivi, the most. O oh Buddha, my hero, homage to you. Supreme among all beings who release me from suffering and many other beings as well. All suffering is fully understood. Craving its cause is dried up. The Eightfold Path has been developed and cessation has been realized by me. 
Previously, I was a mother, a son, a father, a brother, and a grandmother. Failing to grasp the true natures of things, I have transmigrated without reward. Since I've seen the Blessed One, this bag of bounds is my last. Transmigration through birth is finished. Now there will be no more future lives. I see the disciples in harmony, energetic, and resolute, always staunchly vigorous. This is homage to the Buddhas. It was truly for the benefit of many that Maya gave birth to Gotama. He swept away the mass of suffering for those stricken by sickness and death. Theravada Khmer Seminary Ratanayani was the youngest of 13 Khmer women who took a temporary seminary ordination in 2011 in USA that was organized and supported by her mother and had the support of the leading Khmer Piku, Venerable Sao Kuan. She met real-life Pikuni teachers and preceptors from Sri Lanka, Thailand, and USA and was encouraged and strongly wished not to disturb, and remains as a seminary as of today. Theravada Khmer Seminary Satajivi met the first Khmer Pikuni when she was still a white robe nun and became Dharma friends. She mainly stayed with the first Khmer Pikuni and was experiencing what the first Khmer Pikuni was experiencing. She went to ordain as a seminary in Sri Lanka with the first Khmer Pikuni when she went to ordain as a Pikuni. Two Theravada Khmer Kram seminaries, Ratana Chitta and Thira Chitta, undertook the seminary ordination in Kampuchea Kram in southern Vietnam by leading Pikuni teacher and preceptor, Pikuni Apajaya Vitita Dhamma Therai. Seminary Ratanachitta felt that following the Buddha's path was best for her and has been a seminary for more than five years. For seminary Tirachitta, seeing the struggles of her mother working to raise her sibling after her father's death inspired her to enter a monastic life. She has been a seminary for over three years now. They both have memorized the Pali Pikoni, Patimoka, and ready to take the higher ordination once COVID-19 pandemic is over. Khmer Theravada Seminary, Jude Tenera, was then a laywoman from Germany, joining our international Pikoni Dham Yatra to Cambodia from December 18, 2019 to January 9, 2020. The Dham Yatra included five Theravada Pikunis and two Theravada seminaries from Canada, Indonesia, Kampuchea Sri Lanka, and USA. Three Pikuni preceptors, Venerable Tataloka, Venerable Santini, and Venerable Sudina, and the first Khmer Pikuni, Venerable Medajivi, were among the five Pikunis. Venerable Pikuni Tira Jarani, PhD from Indonesia, was the fifth Pikuni. As a lay woman, Jutanara requested to be and became an Anagarika during our Dhamma Yatra. From Venerable Pikuni Preceptor, Venerable Tataloka on December 30, 2019. After the International Pikuni Dhamma Yatra, Anagarika Jutanara continued her training at Ananja Vihara in Germany. She was ordained as a seminary at the Vihara on January 28, 2021 by Aya Pilaniani Pikuni as her preceptor. As we can see, Khmer women of strong faith, intelligence, and dedication have stepped up to be the groundbreakers despite the obstacles. Also, Khmer Sangharajas have been supportive of Pikunis for decades. In addition, there are Khmer Pikuks who have stepped up to be the groundbreakers to ordain women 
and provide education of the fourfold Sangha to both male and female in all ages. Three Cambodian Sangrajas have been supportive of Pekingese for decades. Cambodian Patriarch Mahakosananda participated in the 1987 International Conference on Buddhist nuns in Bogaya and supported in reviving Pekingese in traditions that have been lost. Cambodian Supreme Patriarch of Mahanikaya, Most Venerable Teb Vong, was a patron of the historical 1998 Pekoni ordination in Bogaya and one of the leading members of the event. Samdai Prya Sangraja Bukri has accepted the Taiwanese Pekoni Sangha under his branch for some time now and is in the process to establish a law to legalize Pekunese in Cambodia. The revival of the Theravada Pekuni Sangha in the Khmer community still hasn't been possible yet. It takes a dedicated women to step up who have the heart to face all obstacles and hurdles and be the groundbreakers. A Khmer Piku, who was the first Khmer Pekunese teacher, told her about the 13 ancient Arhantai Pekunese that got her inspired to enter a monastic life. With his practice of metta meditation on a regular basis, and out of his compassion, he ordained the first Khmer Pekuni, who was a 10 precept nun then, as a seminary. Thus, this Khmer Piku has stepped up to open the path for Khmer women to become Pekunis that the Buddha had already opened for them. Great Khmer Piku, Venerable Yung Sapat, understands the important roles and the contribution of the Buddha's disciples, who are made up of Pikus, Pikunis, laymen, and laywomen. Seeing that during the time of the Buddha, many people got to know the roles of the Buddha's disciples and the greatness. Now hardly any people knows about them. Venerable Yung Sapat collected their story from Tipitaka and Atakata and put them into history books of the Fourfold Sangha. These books were written to be the light to help people to get to know the Buddha's foremost and outstanding disciples, including their roles, their characters, their temperaments, their practices, and their Dharma talks. Because the prosperity of Buddhism depends only on people's remembering, practicing, and teaching the Dharma to other people. The Buddha disciple, Pikos, Pikonis, laymen, and laywomen are the proofs and the witnesses. The Venerable concluded that the rise and the prosperity of Buddhism during the time of the Buddha depended on those foremost and outstanding disciples. Because of these reasons, Venerable Yung Sapat put great efforts and time to put together these books for people to use as likes in modern time. Another great Khmer Piku, Venerable Juan Kakada, must have agreed with Venerable Yung Sapat's reason for putting the books together and must have a similar goal when he created videos of the Buddha's foremost and outstanding disciples. His videos were taken directly from Venerable Yung Sapat's books of 80, 50, 39 and 31, for most and outstanding pikus, pikunis, laymen, and laywomen, respectively. The history books of pikunis have 50 foremost and outstanding pikunis during the time of the Buddha, and Anajya Devi Tere is listed at number 37. The list of 50 foremost and outstanding pikunis came about when Venerable Tataloka, who was a student of Cambon Patriarch Mahagosananda, saw a Facebook post describing 28 foremost pikunis by a Khmer Piku. She then asked me if there was a Cambodian list of 28 foremost pikuni arahantis. I then remembered listening to Dharma talks on foremost and outstanding 50 pikunis before and asked the Venerable who gave the Dharma talks for his source of the 50 Pekunis. The Venerable pointed me to the books written by Venerable Yung Sapat. I searched for his books and found them at 5000years.org. 
When I found the list, I type up the names for easy text searching and share them back to Venerable Tataloka. Not long after that, she shared news about a historical heritage, what Diva Tidarama in Bangkok. It has an old royal Upasita Hall called Pikuni Vihara, and in it has 50 statues of Pikunis. Because the client list of 50 foremost and outstanding Pikunis matches well with the 50 Pikuni images at Wat, Diva Tidarama, Venerable Tataloka, superimposed the 50 names that she had also translated into English on a picture of the image of the 50 Pikunis at Wat, Diva Tidarama, as shown here, with our merits and the quality of the foremost and outstanding Pikunis in the time of the Buddha, however many they were, and whether or not their voice had been heard. May the fourfold Sangha be fully recognized and supported in all traditions for the benefits of all beings. To conclude this presentation, I will read the names of the 50 foremost and outstanding Pikunis from the Khmer list. 1. Venerable Lady Mahabhajipadek Gautami Terry. 2. Venerable Lady Kema Terry. 3. Venerable Lady Obalavana Terry. 4. Venerable Lady Badajara Terry. 5. Venerable Lady Damadina Terry. 6. Venerable Lady Nanda Terry. 7. Venerable Lady Sona Terry. 8. Venerable Lady Sakula Terry. 9. Venerable Lady Pada Gundalekesa Terry. 10. Venerable Lady Pada Gabilani Terry. 11. Venerable Lady Pada Kajana Terry. 12. Venerable Lady Gisa Gotami Terry. 13. Venerable Lady Singalamata, aka Singalamata Terry. 14. Venerable Lady Goltida Terry. 15. Venerable Lady Japa Terry. 16. Venerable Lady Chala Terry. 17. Venerable Lady Jetta Terry. 18. Venerable Lady Terika Terry. 19. Venerable Lady Dantika Terry. 20. Venerable Lady Bonna Terry. 21. Venerable Lady Behu Patika Terry. 22. Venerable Lady Mitta Terry. 23. Venerable Lady Mutta Terry. 24. Venerable Lady Rohini Terry. 25. Venerable Lady Watamata, a.k.a. Watamatu Terry. 26. Venerable Lady Vasati Terry. 27. Venerable Lady Vimala Terry. 28. Venerable Lady Sama Terry. 29. Venerable Lady Sisu Pachala Terry. 30. Venerable Lady Siha Terry. 31. Venerable Lady Sokka Terry. 32. Venerable Lady Sujita Terry. 33. Venerable Lady Sundari Terry. 34. Venerable Lady Sumetia Terry. 35. Venerable Lady Sela Terry. 36. Venerable Lady Sama Terry. 37. 
Venerable Lady Anaujia Devi, 30. 38. Venerable Lady Apia, 30. 39. Venerable Lady Apiru Panantia, 30. 40. Venerable Lady Atagatsai, 30. 41. Venerable Lady Ampepali, 30. 42. Venerable Lady Asetisai, 30. 43. Venerable Lady Uttama Thiri. 44. Venerable Lady Upachala Thiri. 45. Venerable Lady Upari Thiri. 46. Venerable Lady Supia Gamaratida Thiri. 47. Venerable Lady Supia Jivakam Bhavanika Thiri. 48. Venerable Lady Apiyamita Terry. 49. Venerable Terry Ayamata Gamarukasapa Mata. And 50. Venerable Lady Mudda Terry, who was fully ordained while ordained as a Sekamana. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.